do. This is a Paradox Interactive, our development studio, a strategy game that I've been playing recently and becoming very, very fond of, in fact. So, so unlike previous Crusader King, or Hearts, uh, Paradox and Paradox games we played, this one is a lot more focused on sort of RPG elements, namely kind of your dynasty, if you will. Now, this guy's kind of an idiot. So let's go into our ruler designer here. Attributes. Traits. Okay. Now, I really want you to be... Midas touched. Where does it show how many I have left? Okay. I don't see where it's telling you what my points are. Oh, I see. It increases my age. Okay. Let's change that out to a gray eminence. Okay. Incapable. What is incapable? Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Let's go with wounded because that'll make things a little bit better. And then what else can we do? Yeah, that's just terrible. Nope. Crusader would be nice, but... I kind of want to pull genius, but I can't. So I need some penalties. That would drop me down below the limit. Craven. Nope. We're sick. Wounded. Well, if I do wounded, right? <clears throat> but that's temporary.
Could do celibate. Or weak. Difficult. I really don't want arbitrary, because that's kind of a pain. Uh, if I go with cruel, right? No, that drops my vassal opinion by too much. But what if I switch gray eminence? Yeah. Alright, so I need to knock off at least 15. Need to knock off at least another 3. Then we'll... Bump that up. Okay, that should do the trick. Married. So he's not married, he has one son. Okay. I like Catholic. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll keep him on Catholic then. Wig Wiglat of Devon. All right, let's do that. And then... All right. Play it. Okay, there we go. We are now in. Oh gosh. Council positions open. I like you. You're good at marshalling. Stewarding. You are good at stewarding. Okay, so let us look at our vassals page. Thorod, what's your problem? Short rain. Envious. Ugh. Jeez. Okay, that's a pain in the rear end. That is a massive pain in the rear end. Alright, which means we can't change our succession law. And I haven't rained for 10 years, so I'm not a previous, right? Okay. So let's flip up to centralization, because we can do that now. I have no heir, I have a title loss, two creatable, one title usurpable, ruler unmarried, and pick an ambition. So let's find an ambition. Um, let's get married first, shall we? Alright, so, arrange a marriage. Now I want decent intrigue. Lombardy. Ambitious, just... Ooh, ambitious. That's a pain. Uh, let's look for traits, shall we? Just... Brilliant strategist. Okay, so we don't really have any good traits available. Looking for something like strong, whatever.
And you're Frankish? Right? Bobbenberger. Saxony. That's an option. So a lot of this is going to be about... Bohemia. So a lot of this is going to be about... Okay, I'd lose a lot from that, and they wouldn't accept it, because I'm an infidel. Right, okay. So let's let's go back to our main page. So a lot of this is about building alliances. Um, hmm. Boy, Lombard is a lot of princesses. I like her, 6-6... Six, six. My Marshal isn't great. I like that one a lot. And she's an elusive shadow. Yes, okay. Ooh, and I'd get a lot of prestige from that. Alright, so we have our marriage possibly sorted, and I'm unmarried. Alright. Let's get this game up. The only mod I have, by the way, allows me to make claims at 50%. So not... All right, you're up at 13 and you're at 11. You're a scholarly theologian and you're a dutiful cleric. Flop. And we'll respect people's wealth because the prestige is more important. Hooray, we just got married, and I fulfilled an ambition, which boosted my piety. Also lets me pick a new ambition. Awesome, so I'm no longer wounded, which means I've gotten one marshal and my health back, but I've gotten scarred, which actually gives me prestige. Which is actually a good thing to have because it has no negatives. So that's why I took Wounded because it's it's kind of useful to have. So I have a wife. Um, hopefully I'll have start having kids soon. Pick an ambition. Um, let's go with have a daughter. Pictland. Okay, good, it went away. Good, 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 good. Low centralization, yeah, everyone's flipping over low centralization. Alright, so now it's really a waiting game, because I need a fair amount. I want to take Wessex, basically. Um, Essex, rather. Um, because it's going to be a very useful province to have. She needs to stay out of that because I don't need to destabilize my realm further. Hopefully she's still not pissed off at me. Okay, good. She isn't. Alright, that's good enough. And we're just going to build up some money. And to that end, we're going to have you collect some taxes, I think. Where's my high, highest tax province? 10.5, 10.4, 11.3. Because none of them, I guess, like me enough. So that one right there.
Alright, so let's send our steward to Lincoln. And revolt risk map, that looks pretty good. So let's send you to the capital to research military technology. I want to improve diplomatic relations with Kuhn. And uh, let's see. Vassal's opinion match. Bishop of Newstead. Why do you hate my guts? Oh, because I fired you from the council. <clears throat> and you're temperate. Okay. So. You'd make a horrible steward. What the heck are you talking about? Where are you actually located? Alright, so I have to send you there, and I want you to scheme here to uncover any plots against me. I can usurp a title, but I need another 100, about another 100 gold to do that, so that's fine. We can just wait on that for now. Because I want Essex and I want this. Alright, so these two are really important to me. Now. Right, because I don't have any feudal taxes running. Okay. So that's going to be a little bit of a difficulty. And the reason I want to improve my vassal relationships. Seriously. I could bring you back in. Hmm. Okay, so you just went back up. That's good. Alright. You still need more money. Yeah, I know I have no air, and I'm hoping I won't die, because otherwise that'll be pretty much the shortest game I've ever had. Now we're going to try out some celibacy. And then we will hit... Oh, she's pregnant. Yay! All right, I may not lose my heir completely. I hope that's a boy. <laughs> I know his his desire is to have a female, is to have a daughter. But right now, the kingdom could really use a, a male heir more. Oh. Well, that's terrible. And I've gained the humble trait, so I'm on my way to being a virtuous soul. Well, I have gluttony, which is an issue, so that's one downside. Um, okay, so now let's check out vassals again. Bishop of Crowland. Go hunting again. Okay, there we go. Northampton, Bishopric of Curland. Alright, so he's my personal vassal. So let's then come back here. I 
And I want to get all of those vassals straightened out positive. I had a daughter. <sighs> Which is unfor... When did I get a son? Okay. I didn't remember getting a son anywhere. I need to get my piety up. Now, piety isn't too hard to get up there, though. Amass wealth. Personal wealth of at least 500. Yuck. And we're still just waiting, really. That's that's one of the problems here. I don't have a lot of personal holdings, and my feudal taxes aren't high, and I can't... I can't change them right now. Oh, well, I do guess I have... No, I have no feudal taxation. Um... Yeah, they would hate my guts for that. And though I do have the demands, domain size, which is good enough, so I could probably seize these two as domains. <clears throat> the Avar Cognate. They have fallen. Seek transit Gloria Mundi, so passes the glory of all. All right, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Now Essex, if we open this up and I go to my realm tree, I can see that he can pull together 874, and I can pull. It doesn't knock anything too low, so that's okay. Alright, so we should be able to do this now. Give me prestige. Alright. Now. Now that gives me Dejour claims I can press against Essex. Excellent. So now... Let's look at this. Levy information. 457 260 260 okay so we're going to slip this over here and we're going to go to our marshal and now when we raise it We have some more. Okay. So I can press to your claims. Okay. So I can go over to conduct diplomacy, declare war, and I have a du jour claim on Essex. So I can hit the declare war button. I am now at war. I could call in allies. I could call in the kingdom of Lombardy. And we're not certain they might. We don't know. But what we can do is we can go over to military. And raise all of our levies up. And from what I can tell, I had a few levies who actually refused to respond.
Oh yeah, we're gonna win this. So let's merge this into one huge army. I can't replace them, but that's fine. We should be able to win this. Oh yeah, we're winning this. We crushed them. Okay. That's good. That's very good. And I don't think they'll have the capability to siege us out. But my counselors aren't as fantastic. Now we're just waiting for the siege to take down here. Um, and I don't think the army that they have here is actually tough enough to really be able to pull this off. Unsuccessful raids. So little events like that cause their morale to drop faster. Now the thing is, I have to siege down each one of these. So I'm sieging down the capital right now. Then I have to siege the city. Then I have to siege the bishopric. Unless the war score hits 100 first. Okay, good. That's been sieged out, so now you have to wait for the next one to siege out. And people are getting irritated about how long the vassal levies have been kept raised. Um, so what I can do... Oh, good, we're done. Okay. Offer a peace. Enforce demands. And I've won. So then, let's go back to our military page. And dismiss all of our levies. So as you can see, he doesn't like me much. Because <clears throat> he's ambitious. This guy hates my guts. Like, this guy absolutely hates my guts. We might be able to bring him around eventually, but it's going to take a while for that to come around. But Essex, as you can see, is a very nice, nice town. But we're going to wait until our vassal levy alerts are done. Because um, Middlesex is going to raise... Oh, a goodly number of troops there. Oh, I can invest in technological advance. Okay. Um, let's go for... can't get at the button for it. Darn you, computer. Because that actually allows us a bigger... Okay, so we'll we'll invest in that a little bit. I'll have to monkey, monkey with screen resolutions and see how that works out for me. So now that we've had our first war, I just want to wait until my vassal levy alerts go away before I seize Middlesex as well. Because, of course, my point here is to expand enough and, you know... What do I have? I have collect money, right, for my ambition right now, right? Amass wealth. I could cancel the ambition. What is my succession right now? Oh my gosh, she's absolutely terrible. She is a pain in the rear end. Alright, so that's gone away. So now we can enforce our we can enforce our claims. I could go with that. Charitable. Vanity is a sin. Better piety. I like Zealous. Yeah, why not? You're not gonna, even if you lose, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose hard.
Yeah, you're getting crushed. That's fine. You go have fun getting crushed. All right, so let's go over to here. Ooh. Let's claim it. Because this this will make it a personal vassal of ours. All right. Rather than becoming his liege, we can claim it personally. Okay. So for this, let's see. Let's just raise my personal levies for right now. Oh, yeah. They're going to die. Okay. Holy warrior, unyielding. Oh, we want to organize her. We want to organize her. Movement speed boost. We want to organize her. Trust me, we want to organize her. Yeah, he lost. But notice how he didn't take any penalties for losing. So it doesn't really matter. Now, the advantage to using my personal vassals here is that, quite simply, um... No, oh, we need to find a guardian. Okay. So educate child. Now... He's going to be our next king, right? Elusive Shadow. Or... I have the best stewardship in the Bloody Realm. Uh, let's go... Let's educate him ourselves, actually, to get great eminence. And that'll also give us better control over... Uh, what he thinks of us. That'll give us more control over his traits. Embrace the love plus to piety. Now the advantage of making this place a personal vassal of mine is that it'll basically guarantee that I'll be able to um, control it. Oh, I don't want to be stressed. So it means that I'll be able to raise the vassals. You saw that I had a few vassals in here who did not respect my authority and did not, you know. Yes, excellent. That's absolutely fantastic there, buddy. Let's actually check him out. So his opinion of me is a 72. I don't much care about my opinion of him. Only at 63%. Oh, we got prisoners. And nothing happened. Okay. So let's go into intrigue. Ten gold? Yeah, I'll send it back. Thank you much. It isn't going to matter because I'm about to seize your country. There we go. Off for the peace. Um, flatter and soothe. And that just became a personal holding of mine. And what I'm also going to do is come over to this idiot. And this will make a lot of people not like me overly much. If you don't have a claim or a title or on the title, do I have a claim on the damn title? I just want to have a truce on it. Alright. 
50 prestige, other vassals by 20, I can survive it. What is it saying? Oh, I have a truce with him. I have to have a special revoke reason. Well, well he hates my guts. Isn't that enough of a reason? Okay. You know what we'll do? We'll be sneaky. We'll fabricate a personal claim there. Because Essex is actually a fairly nice province. Well, it's not too shabby. But... Oh, I want that because I'm the king. You kind of want your own character to have ambition. Um, so because I have ambition, it shouldn't affect my vassals. Yeah. Okay, see, it doesn't affect my vassals. Um, and we're just kind of sitting here right now. Um... Yeah, let's just imprison him. Ah, Earl Cuthbert's now locked away. Okay. And I need to educate you. Oh, because your might is touched. Oh, heck yeah. I am so giving that to you. Alright, so I've gotten him imprisoned. All right, that's good. Entry prisoners. He hates my guts. He absolutely hates my guts. Oh, and he's ambitious too. Is he? Yeah, he's ambitious. And she probably hates me too. Her liege is also her husband. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, so, early game, bit of a... Ooh, right. We should probably stand down my personal levy. Alright, so that seems like a good first episode. A good place to take a break. This has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you guys for watching. And, yeah, so what we're going to do also technologically is that... Because I don't have enough of a retinue yet to actually put together a retinue. Yeah, my max, I don't have enough of a maximum retinue cap. So I'm going to have to boost that up a little bit. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do is I will see you guys later. I'm going to research under technology military organization. I can't see it because the way my screen resolution is set. So I'll have to fix that for the next episode. So I'm apologizing in advance if you guys have black borders or letterboxing. That's just how it's going to have to be. All right, anyways, guys, this has been Mr. Kassarian. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment. Just let me know you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, yeah, throw me a like. It really helps my search rankings, and search rankings are massively important. So throw me a like, throw me a subscription, subscription, throw me a comment. If you enjoyed it, give me a comment. And I have plans. Oh, crap. All right, I'm, I'm possessed now. Great. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.